since I am running on a Windows PC and not a Mac, I find that it's rather inconvenient to use iTunes software. In my experience, it usually just turns my computer into a slug and I'm not able to really run any other programs while iTunes is going. So I found this alternative program to iTunes and it's called Copy Trans Manager. And you can see in this top window here, Copy Trans Manager is free. So you can manage your iPod and iPhone without iTunes. Now I will say that when you're using apps and things like that, Copy Trans won't work. Copy Trans only works for music and movies. But when you want to update these things without having to open up iTunes just to sync your iPod and charge it and, you know, open up the store and all the popular apps and what have you, it's really a lot easier to use Copy Trans. So I'm going to show you how to use that today. We're going to click on Copy Trans Manager. And sometimes iTunes will open up anyway. If you don't have it configured to do so, it shouldn't. But Copy Trans will give you the option of actually closing that out for you so you don't have to stop the program, close it out, and restart. Now it's getting to my iPod right now. Okay, you can see that it shows up in the window here. Let me just move that. And you can see that this part of the iPod is listed and it has all the tracks on it regardless of what playlist it's in. Um, any movies that would be on the iPod would show up here as well. Now when you're in this main window pane and this part of the playlist area is selected, you can only use this button right here, Add Tracks to Playlist, in order to add tracks to the whole iPod. You could also do Add, right click and Add but this button's usually a little easier. Just wait for that. And you can go in and, and get some songs if you wanted to. Um, I'm just gonna click on some music here. I'll just add that right in here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to add a movie to your iPod. And again, we're going to go into this Add Tracks to Playlist button up here. And I'll go to the desktop where I have Fast and Furious 2009 in MP4 format already. Now, if you have ever put a movie on your iPod before, you probably already know that MP4 is one of iPod's favorite formats. So just to be on the safe side, we'll use this one. I'll click Open. And you can see it shows up down here, and it automatically made a category up here for videos. And it shows up there as well. Now, if you want to update your iPod, or in other words, sync it, as the iTunes software would tell you to do, you just click on this button right here. This is actually pretty nifty because it does not sync automatically as soon as you add the tracks. So you're not you know, trying to copy music over top of a you know, a process that's already running. So you can update when you're all done and it gets it done in one shot. Now for time purposes here, I'm not going to update with the movie because it could take several minutes. So I'm going to delete the movie and just show you how to update the iPod with the new tracks on it. I can see the progress in this bottom pane down here and you can see it's already finished. So when you want to go to remove your iPod, all you have to do is click this little eject button and you're done. So that was much easier and much faster than trying to use iTunes and waiting for it to boot up on a PC. So if you're thinking about getting an iPod Touch or an iPod Nano but you don't really like the software that they have to add to it, you might think about using Copy Trans Manager instead. But like I said, it only works on music and videos, not the apps. So if you want apps, you'll still have to use iTunes. But I hope that was helpful for you and I hope you enjoy using Copy Trans Manager for your iPod.